Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC18 in Dallas, Texas, and today we're at the Quantum Booth with Jason. Jason, thanks for having me back. Are you having sure. a good are you having a good show so far? Yeah, it's a great show. There's always a lot to learn at this show. Everyone is here. Yeah. Everyone who's anyone in supercomputing comes to this show. Yeah, yeah. This is true. Yeah. Well, let's talk about from the beginning. Who is Quantum, and who do you help in this space? Uh, so Quantum makes high-performance scale-out storage appliances called Excellus, and we also make massive scale tape libraries called Scalar. Um, if you want to archive data that's basically petabytes or even up to exabytes, you know, these tape libraries can hold that data in a very dense kind of form factor. We use LTO8 media, basically. Um, and all that environment is striped together with a file system called Storenext. It's a hybrid parallel file system. Uh, it, it offers a lot of connectivity options, SAN connectivity, NAS connectivity. Um, various client uh, alternatives between Linux, Windows, and Mac, um, and a lot of coordination between access points, because if you have thousands of users coming into centralized storage, that access needs to be coordinated, so we offer that as well. Right. Yeah. You can not only handle big data, you can help wrangle big data, sounds to me. Yeah. Right, yeah. it's it's. Uh, when you're dealing with big data, you know, preserving it, protecting it, it's 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 a lot more difficult than just storing it in general. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, well, well, hey, what, what are you showcasing this week at SC18? Uh, yeah. So we have uh, another autonomous vehicle on our booth this year. Mm -hmm. uh, looks a little bit different, uh, yeah. but we're uh, we've just unveiled our next generation uh, storage. Uh, unit that fits in the trunk of the car. If you want, you can come over and see it right now. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. why would I want a lot of storage in a car? Well, Rich, these these cars are basically data vacuums. They are ingesting a huge amount of data from the road. They've got uh, multiple cameras that are mounted on the vehicles. They have LiDAR, they have GPS, uh, and all that data that's coming in, it's about two to three terabytes every single hour. And so to actually capture that data uh, in the trunk of the car, this is actually the first generation. This is what we had last year. Uh -huh. But now we've upgraded into this denser form factor up here. Yeah. So this takes both SSDs and HDDs, um, up, up to 60 terabytes of capacity. Um, it runs on 12 volt DC, so it fits right into the car's power system. So it makes okay. it pretty simple. Yeah. Um, it's got an Ubuntu server in here. And uh, what this does is it accelerates the ingest part of the workflow. You know, these autonomous vehicles companies, um, they are dealing with massive amounts of data, but they're commercial organizations. And so they want to have their product development cycle as accelerated as possible. And the ingest portion where the value of the data is as high as it is, they want to get that to their engineers to run their simulation and modeling as quick as possible. So basically, they take this out of the car, they mount it in the rack, and then they use a piece of our Stornex software called FlexSync, which is a data replication uh, facility that basically replicates the data into the centralized storage, and then it gives them access pretty much immediately. Yeah. 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 Well, well, Jason, I'm just thinking ahead to the future when there's millions of these things running around on the road. That's a lot of data, isn't it? That is a lot of data. <laughs> that is a lot. Um, actually, I think I've read something that by 2025, there'll be 163 zettabytes of data in the, in the global data sphere. That's 163,000 exabytes. Um, and a lot of that is actually video data and audio data. About 90% is unstructured, and about 80% of that unstructured data is video or audio files. So one thing that Quantum does really well is we ingest rich media and store and preserve rich media. That's kind of our heritage. That's where we come from. Okay, well, wrap up thing here, I think. You know, this is a show about high performance computing. But if I had to wrangle with something like that and my core competency was making cars, it sounds to me like Quantum would be somebody I'd want to be talking to. Sure, yeah, we'd, we'd love that. Uh, <laughs> whether you're ingesting data from a car or a telescope, like square kilometer array, uh, 4K, 8K movie camera, you know, we'd love to help you. That's, that's where we excel is these large, data-rich environments. Well, Jason, hey, thanks for having me and uh, have a great show. Thanks very much, Rich. Great talking to you.